This is the house in Longwood on Lorman Circle. It's going to pan around so you can kind of see the neighborhood a little bit. It's, it's, a, it's kind of a horseshoe half circle street so there's not um, much going on back here. It just goes back out into the main road. House, it is a three bedroom, two bathroom. It has a one car carport. It's concrete block. It's a little under a thousand square feet. Uh, built in 1961. Inside's fairly decent. It's all tile floors in most of the rooms. Uh, kind of high ceilings vaulted. It does have central heat and air also. You see there's a little bit of hole there. Some light fixture missing. This so is the kitchen. Some of the up, upper cabinets are missing and uh, took most of the appliances out other than the dishwasher. Just still intact. And the carport here, this is kind of a laundry area. It's got a water heater, looks decent. Washer dryer hookups, a couple of holes in the wall, one right there and one back in there. It's drywall, drywall is easy and cheap. Down the hallway here. First bedroom here, it's, uh, it's missing a light fixture. No carpet on the floors, but. Okay. Hall bathroom looks pretty decent. It's been updated. See, sink and vanity, toilet, shower tub. It's got nice tile on it. Somebody did a nice job with this. Here's the uh, air conditioner. It's probably seen better days. I don't know if it works or not, but it, uh, you can kind of see it there. Thermostat on the wall. It's missing a battery. Probably just needs to be replaced, though. <laughs> this is a uh, second bedroom. I'm not quite sure what somebody was thinking here. There's some type of plumbing hookup in the corner and there's a pipe and water all the way around the house. Uh, this just needs to be capped off and closed off. Get rid of that. The door going out to the exterior. I think maybe somebody was using this as a uh, apartment. I, I would... There's two doors right here in this bedroom. I'd probably seal off this one here on the right. So I think it goes into another bedroom. This bedroom here is missing the carpet as well. So this is the master bedroom. The bathroom in here, you can see it's also been upgraded. It's got a sink vanity toilet, nice tile, it's got a shower. There, this seems in fairly good shape other than it's missing the medicine cabinet. This house has three bedrooms, two baths. I'm gonna wander out into the backyard. See, it is fenced wood privacy all the way around. There's a shed over here on the left. Looks like it might be missing a door or something. But the air conditioner exterior unit is missing, and that m it may mean need to replace the entire system. I'm not sure. A few holes in the concrete block over here that need to be patched up. You can see. Roof does not appear to be leaking or anything like that. And look down this side of the house. It's a drive through gate there. Just looking down the other side here. Kind of see. A little bit of a tar area around here. This is a tar and gravel roof, but I couldn't see any leaks anywhere on it. So. Uh, this is the house in Longwood.